Uh, once again, this is 139. This is my third review in a row. As you can tell, I'm wearing the same shit. Um, it's 4 o'clock in the morning now. It's a, it's a Saturday. Really, it's a Friday. Um, you know, I'm going to sleep till like fucking 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. So I'm all good in the hood, but... This one is going to be for the second Kingsman movie. This one's called The Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Um, this one I actually liked a little bit better. And su it's surprising because I know that this one gets lower reviews than the first one. Uh, my friend said the same thing. He said he liked, the f he liked it. It was all right, but he liked the first one better. Um, I actually prefer this one, to be honest with you. And reason being... Um, it knew this this one knew what it was it was this whole time it was just a dumb you know it was, it was like a laid-back dumb movie with a few clever things which was really good um, it wasn't trying too hard to do something um, it kind of embraced just the ridiculousness of a you know uh, a proper spy who also fucking cuts people's heads off and shit <laughs> um, once again same type of comedy not really that funny um, in my opinion, comedy subjective, obviously, oh, all this stuff is subjective, but I wasn't dying, um, there was a few funny parts, just like the first one, kind of, a few chuckles, um, but this one's just totally, you know, totally looser, uh, not sure what the girl, let, let me see, what's her name, I could probably pick it out, because my mom was talking about her, um, let's see, Julianne Moore is the, Julianne Moore is the villain here, um, she is running a big drug corporation, I think in Mexico, um, and her goal is to make drugs legal. So what she does is she, in all of her batches of drugs, cocaine, LSD, uh, heroin, weed, all that, everything, um, she put in some type of chemical that at first turns your veins blue, which is kind of disgusting, and then it uh, makes you like loopy, then you freeze up and then literally your head like your head doesn't explode but i forget what she said but for some reason the dude's eyes exploded and blood flew out of his mouth and his eyes um so i don't know what happens really but i think you stop bleeding i'm or breathing i'm not sure why your head would basically explode from stopping breathing but whatever i don't know if they said that i think that's what it was uh, but she's the main villain and then there's the the, another like her lackey basically is the guy who got rejected um from the first movie the the one of the kingsmen who got rejected from the first movie he's basically the lackey for some reason he lost his arm we don't know how he lost his arm but he lost his arm he's got a robotic arm he's trying to be spencer or the fucking winter soldier out here um excuse the voice crack i'm very thirsty um and it's eggsy you know I said Colin Firth's character got shot and died in the last one. So it's Eggsy. He takes the main role here as Merlin is, is kind of his, like, you know, kind of his Bentley <laughs> situation. His uh, computer guy in the background. Um, and um, she literally just bombs. Bombs all of the Kingsmen. So they all fucking die. Except, uh, except Eggsy, Merlin... Roxy died. Um, literally everyone fucking died. Except, yeah, I think that was it. Merlin and, and Eggsy. So in the first one, the way they avoided introducing all the other Kingsmen was uh, the, the whole, there's a turncoat in our midst and we can't trust any of them. And in the second one, they just choose to blow all of them up. So. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I just adjusted my balls really and then the whole fucking table moved you know what can i say okay there we go and um they just decided to blow them all up here <laughs> um so uh they decide to there's some like i forget what it is when all the i don't know there's some tradition and they go and they uh drink they get drunk together and the one dude merlin who's usually pretty buttoned up kind of like loosens up and that that was the funniest part for me he's my favorite character merlin um, let's see if I can pick out his name. I'm not really sure that I could. Uh, maybe Mark Strong could be. I think it's Mark Strong. Um, I think that's who it is. Uh, but when they get to the bottom of the barrel, or the bottle, they, f they find, like, it's an American whiskey, so they, they go to the, they go, I don't know, it's not called a brewery, but whatever it would be for a whiskey, 
they go there and uh, they meet Channing Tatum, who's like, you know, they're in the they're in the fucking in places they shouldn't be, and then Channing Tatum shows up and he's like basically an American version of the Kingsman. Uh, you think he's you think at first he's a villain, but he is just like giving them a hard time because they're in like really you know high secure well uh, classified areas or whatever it was, um, and he gives them a hard time, but then they realize that they're all cool they're all good and you know they meet up and it's the british or the english uh, kingsmen and then the american kingsmen which are called something else i can't remember what they're called um something else but and all of them they're all like i mean they're in to be fair they're in i think kentucky so they're all very like southern and um you know i don't want to say i don't know if it's typical american i'm not really sure what other countries think of us but it's like the you know redneck type of thing where they got all kinds of like old guns and cowboy hats and spitting shit and all that uh they talk like you know they talk like uh driving their old bronco and shit like that um so except holly berry she's in it too and she talks normally but um there's a whole but there's a lot of fucking characters in here holy shit there's a lot of people in this movie um, Elton John's in this fucking movie for like a half hour. Uh, so anyway, basically, what I'm not really the, the plots. They, they're gonna thwart. They're gonna thwart the plan for some reason that the U.S. government, um, the president decides that. Well, actually, first let me say her, the proposal of the um, the proposal of the uh, main villain is she will release. All the people who took her drugs that were dosed like that, or uh, whatever you want to call it, um, that were fucking, oh man, this, what are you tampered with, sure, um, will die in like a certain amount of time. And if he doesn't make drugs legal and get taxed and everything, then um, she will not release the uh, antidote and they will literally all die. And the president is like, low key fine with that because he's like oh all the criminals will die so i'm not sure if they were trying to do like a trump thing because this was around the time of trump and the last movie obama was supposed to be in it like a version of obama or whatever and i don't know if this was like a version of trump where he's just like oh they'll all die who cares <laughs> um but uh yeah so that's basically what happened like literally the whole fucking all these people who just smoked fucking weed were all going to die and the president was fine with it um I don't think the villain anticipated that, but, but excuse me. Um, the, there we go again. There it goes. <laughs> Can't move my leg out of here apparently. Um, so the president's cool with it. They got everybody locked up in cages. I really don't know why they're in cages. I guess because maybe they think they're. Uh, like can pass it along or maybe because they're they've done drugs so it's proof I don't think that's why because they all run free at the end I'm not really sure why they're in cages it was kind of weird but the reason I like this movie better is because it's not you don't have to think as much it's just stupider you know there's a part where one of the characters dies and he's literally singing country roads take me home <laughs> like in a weird the weirdest like I guess English accent or like I don't know what where he's from but accent ever it's just so funny and it's like stupid you know it's stupid um action there's a lot of really cool action at the end especially um with the fucking suitcase gun with the umbrella shield um all kinds of cool gadgets uh i just don't really feel like going too in depth with this one to be honest with you but it's just it's it's a dumber version there's a there's an american version of the kingsman who has a fucking uh, electric whip he has a, a indiana jones whip that turns into electricity like it's just like cool stupid shit and i said this like to my mom i was like mom i know you don't like video games but if they made this in, or well she doesn't not like she doesn't play them obviously she's like well i said if they made this video game this movie this fuck this video game would be fucking off the hook like this shit would be insane a fucking cowboy with an electric whip <laughs> badass there's a fucking suitcase gun out here there's a there's a damn uh there's a there's a damn 
cigarette lighter that blows up. It's just like super freaking cool shit. You put on goggles, you see people, you know, that you couldn't actually see. Um, it's just there's a fucking umbrella that's taking shots from an assault rifle. Just it, it's awesome shit. Um, Colin Firth comes back in this one. I guess they didn't think that Eggsy could handle it himself, and I honestly agree with them. Um, Eggsy's all right. I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's good either. I think Colin Firth is good, really good. Um, with Merlin dying too, you know, uh, I, I think that bringing him back was a good idea. It was kind of cheap because it looked like he literally got shot in the head. They pulled a Carl <laughs> where he literally got shot in the eyeball and somehow lived. I, you know, I don't, I'm not a neurologist. I don't know how that works, but like to me, if you get shot in the fucking head, how do you live? <laughs> um, somehow he lived. They had some type of gadget that was able to save his life. Um, he had amnesia which is kind of, I guess, you know, um, convenient for the plot, you know, just for his character, for, for to have him do something. He's already been the mentor. Um, Eggsy's already been trained, basically. Um, so I guess what else is there really for him to do other than maybe be a partner to Eggsy, which they did in, like, Star Wars, which was good, uh, with, you know, episode two and three of... Uh, of the prequels, Obi Wan and, and Anakin, that worked just fine um, until you know what happened. But uh, they could have done something like that. Instead, they made him they made him have amnesia, and the he wanted to be a, before he joined the Kingsman. He wanted to be like a butterfly scientist or something like that. Um, and he he whenever he's like losing his memory, he starts having like butter butterfly show up in his face, like in his in, you know in his uh, line of sight. It's in his head, and. Um, it, they use it like once or twice maybe just like to make tension higher where he's supposed to be closing a door or, or opening a door I think it was and uh, or maybe it wasn't a door maybe he's activating a ski lift or something and uh, you know like oh suddenly he's having a fucking flashback and uh, you know it's like oh no but you know it's gonna happen but it's still it's supposed to raise the tension I guess and um, so that's basically all he does not really much else he he shoots somebody in the head. They live too. Another person, Colin first shoots the electric cowboy guy in the head, and he lives again. Um, turns out he was a turncoat because they went to go get a, um, a they went to get a sample of the um, the uh, what's it called the, uh, the antidote to the to this basically poison that she she put into the drugs. And he slapped it out of his hand while he was acting like he was trying to save him. And then Colin Firth said he, you know, he just showed who he really was. And he just ended up shooting him in the face. Um, then this guy is somehow lives and, um, you know, tries to get revenge. And it turns out he was a turn turncoat the whole time. Um, but, you know, the movie, it's, it's just... It's kind of weird because it sounds like I'm praising it for having a, like a simpler, dumber plot. But I just think this movie falls, like, it's better when you're, it's not serious. It's just better as, like, a cool-ass, you know, uh, goofy action movie. I don't want it to be a serious-type movie. It's just, I think it's better off uh, the way it was portrayed in this movie, and that's what it was. The story kind of took a bit of a backseat here, um, and they added more interesting characters and uh, really good action as well. Um, it just took itself less serious, and I appreciated that. So I'm just going to give it a slightly better re better rating than the original. I'm going to give it a 7.5, slightly better. Um, you know, the original definitely has a lot of things better than this, but I just think the overall tone of the second one is much better than the first one. Um, so that's why I'm going to give this one a 7.5. As compared to the first one, which I gave a seven. So I know that was a long, uh, pretty short review. I'm just um, kind of, you know, I, I haven't seen those in, uh, I want to say, a week and a half, maybe two weeks at this point. Yeah, two weeks now. And, um, you know, I've, I've just been... Not that I have a bad taste in my mouth with the Kingsman. It's just that I just expected a little more out of them. I, I actually watched the first one two times because I, I watched it at my parents' house. And I was like, it was good, but I didn't love it. So I wanted to watch it again. So like, did I miss anything? Like, what am I missing here? And I, the, again, I was like, it was good, but I didn't love it. Um, so, you know, I've, I'm just a little bit tired of The Kingsman right now. Um, I know there's another one coming out. I will definitely see it. Um, but 
Yes. Uh, so Kingsman, The Golden Circle, 7.5 out of 10, um, which is, you know, really good. So that's the end of this video. Thank you.